Lesson number five. So today we're going to solve comparison type of prob problems. So somebody has more of something or less of something, but um, there will be misleading language. So be on the lookout. All right, Puzzle Penguin, is he ever right? No. So he says, dear math students, as part of my homework, I solved this problem. Carlos has 19 fish. So C is Carlos. He has 14 fewer fish than Daniel. How many fish does Daniel have? So the puzzle penguin said, well, Daniel has five fish. But knowing that the puzzle penguin is wrong, if Daniel has five, is 19 14 fewer? Nope. So you have to go back and solve your equation the correct way. Um, on the bottom, really just a, a lot of problems with the unknown smaller amount or an unknown larger amount. So really you just have to read them carefully. So Daniel has 23 fish. He has 15 more than Carlos. So what I know is that if Daniel has more than Carlos, Carlos has got to be less, which means it's going to be a subtraction problem. So how many does Carlos have? Well, if Daniel has 23 fish and he has 15 more than Carlos, Carlos has 15 less than Daniel. So you could do this as an addition problem. 15 plus what is 23 or 23 minus 15. is 8. So 5 and 5, if you were to count up from 15, plus 5, plus 3. So it's really just understanding the language that goes with it. So Gina ran 12 laps. G, I'll make this one red. So Gina, 12, and I like to take notes on mine. She ran 8 fewer laps than Bettina. So I usually will write it where the bigger number is going to be on top. So what we know is that if Gina ran 12 laps, she ran less than Bettina, which then we would have to add those 8 laps, which you could do that anyway you wanted, to the 12, and there would be 20 laps. So not a um, horrible assignment as far as difficult math. It's just really today it's difficult language. Being able to speak... Um, all of those problems and kind of understand what's being asked. The math part of it, or the computation part of it, isn't bad at all. So we'll do a couple on page 406. So the coach bought 18 hockey sticks for practice. So C is coach, 18 hockey sticks. Oh, brought 18, sorry, to practice. There were 23 players at practice. How many players didn't get sticks? So if there's 18 sticks, there's 23 players, that would be a subtraction problem. So if you count it up, it'd be a plus two, plus three. If it's a subtraction, you would just get five players. So you could even count that one up on your hands. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and get it done. Okay, just two pages. Short, but make sure you read it carefully.